It's time for another installment of The Basics, and on today's show I want to talk about two types of cheating that you might not think actually happen in the world of CCGs, but do. And I'm going to take you through both of them and explain why you need to watch for this when you're playing, mainly at tournaments more so than anything else. Now, on past episodes of this show, I've touched on cheating and explained various ways that some players might cheat their opponents, but I've never really touched on the following two ways to cheat. And I have heard of them happening. I've never been victimized by this, but it does happen. And a couple of my viewers have told me this. One of the easiest ways is through the use of deck boxes. Now, I love deck boxes. You've seen me talk about them on the show before. They're made of plastic or paper covered plastic or reinforced uh, paper and you can put a whole deck up to about a hundred cards if they're in plastic uh, sleeves maybe 80 or 90 at the most if you really jam them in there. There is a way that they can be used for cheating and how that works is that when a player has his cards in there without plastic sleeves so the penny sleeves he can actually put a couple smaller 60 card decks in there so he can kind of mix and match or have cards from either of those two decks in a certain position in the box without a divider and this has happened at a magic tournament in the past it's very disappointing that somebody would do that but that's the one and probably the only downfall of a deck box so if you are playing against someone that is bringing a deck box to the table, make sure that he opens a deck box in your presence. The second one comes back to sleeves. And as you very well know, it's hard to hide anything in penny sleeves. They're clear, they're transparent, you can see right through them. Uh, I use the penny sleeves in all of my CCG cards, including Magic, because they're awesome and they're cheap. Well, at least they used to be cheap. And they're the top sleeve out there. When you get into some of the not so transparent sleeves, you run into problems. So you have a black sleeve. You can only see one side. It is possible for players to hide two cards in there and do a switch when someone's not paying attention. And before anyone starts screaming about that, if you're a serious CCG player, you know how easy it is to get distracted. And this goes for any of the colorful sleeve holders that are out there. I don't use them myself. I've actually just gotten a bunch through trades and I send them back out. One of the main issues, and it doesn't matter what card game you're playing, if it's Magic or X-Files or Star Trek, is there's this, another type of sleeve out there that's partially transparent depending on what angle you hold it at. So... That being said, you could have a second card in there, and if the player opposite you is not paying attention, you could flip that over and be showing the other card that's in there. And when the light hits it, and if the other player didn't pay attention, he just assumes it's that same card holder with that same card, but it's not. And you could have done that in your hand as well. I'm very annoyed by some of these different types of sleeves that come out. Even the colorful opaque ones, they get a bit distracting as well. Do I think maybe some of these sleeves should be banned to negate some of the cheating? Yes and no. It's easy to start banning sleeves, but then you have players that have custom sleeves that are either partially transparent or opaque, and they'll start crowing about that. Me, it doesn't affect me much because, again, I just use the penny sleeves, but... You have to be aware of the type of sleeve someone is using on their cards if they're using sleeves. And it'll probably help you avoid any kind of cheating. And if they're using a deck box, make sure that they're opening it in front of you. Because if their cards have no sleeves, they might have two decks mashed in there. As someone who has played in a large amount of house games and tournament games and has been ripped off at certain points, it pains me to see the level of painstaking detail another player will go in to to uh, cheat and to somehow get ahead in the game or if you're playing Star Trek and he manages to get a raise the stakes out after manipulating the game and you lose one of your best cards because of a cheat it's not right and even though a lot of types of cheating are detected now in tournaments there are new ones all the time there are always ways to beat the system and we have to be 
quite aware of that and pay attention. Have a great day.